Hi guys! L is for the way you look at me O is for the only one I need V is a very, very extraordinary I don't even know this <laughs> so what we're gonna do is ignore the mess in the background. I don't know how much you can see of it because I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even see the camera in front of me. But if there's a mess, pretend you don't have your glasses on and you can't see it. Thank you. Okay, um, so today we are gonna be doing a little girl talk, chat with me, let's vibe, let me give you some of my advice, let me answer some of your questions. Um, and I actually posted on my Instagram story and asked you guys for a bunch of different questions or things that you needed advice on, and I have them all written down on my um, Google Docs. So that's what we're, oh, it looks like a horror movie. That's what we're going to do today. Ha, 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 ha. Let's hop right into it. No need to have a super long intro. You guys know who I am. Hi, I'm Spencer. And if you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Spencer. Well, what's up? Okay, number one, first kiss advice. Let me start by saying your first kiss is not going to be good. There's no way. Okay, this is so random, but I need to include this. Before I had my first kiss, I distinctively remember I went on YouTube and I like searched how to kiss. How to have your first kiss. And I watched awkward first kiss kissing videos. Oh my god, I can't be the only one. <laughs> I really thought I was going to have my first kiss with a guy and my leg was going to go up and I was going to feel sparkles in my body and butterflies in my stomach and there was going to be a spark. It's not like that. It's awkward. It's weird. You're probably going to laugh after and you're probably going to look at back and be like, what was that? What the fuck was that? Um, like it's really, don't be super nervous. I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. But don't be super nervous because it's really... It's not that great. The first kiss is not good. After that, when you're kissing someone you really like or when you're, you've are you had some experience kissing, it's not awkward because I don't think necessarily the first kiss is terrible. I just think that you have no idea what you're doing. So in that sense, it feels awkward because you're like intimidated, but don't be intimidated because everyone has to have a first kiss. And if someone is your first kiss, they should feel honored. They should feel blessed. Let's talk about body image. I know, I know, I know. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls struggle with body image. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls shouldn't struggle with body image. Why can I not speak English right now? Um, everyone, everyone struggles with it. Um, I think everyone has body dysmorphia. Like everyone struggles with their body image at one point in their life. And loving yourself is not like a, I'm gonna love myself. Psh, you love yourself. It's like a, I'm gonna love myself. I love myself. I hate myself. I love myself. Oh, I don't really like this about myself. I love myself. I don't like it. Like it is a, like it's not, it's not. It's not going up. It's literally a roller coaster. That's what it's like. If you're struggling with your body image, I have a whole entire thing on TikTok all about confidence and loving yourself. That's kind of what my platform is on TikTok a lot more, is all about how to love yourself. And just know that if you're struggling with your body image, every, like everyone is, honestly. I feel like we all have like this secret thing in common that we're all low-key have some insecurities. Dating advice. So for those of you who don't know, surprise, shorty, I got a boyfriend. I know. <laughs> and he's so fine and respectful and I have the biggest crush on him even though he's my boyfriend. Um, so my dating advice is that it's worth the wait. Don't settle. It's worth the wait. And the whole entire time that I was single I was like, uh, I know this guy give me, gives me this ick but like he's a nice guy or he's kind of cute, like I'm kind of into him. Like I could maybe see myself with him. No. No more maybes. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. Just, just let that, let it soak in like seasoning. Freeze every bottle and go in the sky. Sparks in the air like the 4th of July. Why are you settling? Why? Because you're 17 and you really badly need a boyfriend? You're 17. You need to love yourself. One day, you are going to love someone else. But for now, love yourself. One day, you're going to be the best thing that ever happened to someone. But for now, be the best thing that ever happened to you. Also, um, some dating advice. Don't accept being treated like shit. Call them out on their shit. Um, if they show up in sweats on the first date and it's not supposed to be like a comfy, cozy date, no. You didn't put in... I did not do my hair, my makeup, and my wear a perfect outfit and plan it the day before for you to show up like you just woke up from a nap. That is not how it works. Um, if they're late, they probably aren't that invested. If you have to beg for their attention, they didn't want to give you their attention. Bodies changing. 
I was so mad. I still get mad sometimes, and it's a terrible thing that I do, is that I'm like, oh my gosh, when I was, when I was like in grade 10, I was like 10 pounds lighter. And I, I looked so good. Like my thighs didn't, eat, like, like I looked so good. There was no chafing happening. Like I didn't have any cellulite at all. But then I think, I'm 19. I'm not gonna have the same body I had when I was 15. I was a child. Like, I still am a child, but I was a child. Like, there's no way. Think about how much your mind has changed since the age of 15 to 19. Your body's gonna change with it too. You can't have the same body forever. And the blessing is that as it changes, you learn to love the different changes and you learn to love the things that you have and you can appreciate and love the way that you used to look, but it doesn't make what you look like right now any less beautiful. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Well, actually, I am talking to myself because no one's here. I'm literally talking to a camera. But I'm saying the things that I'm saying, I also need to hear. I'm learning how to completely love myself through telling you how to love yourself. Let's talk about the tatas. Let's talk about the boobies. Um, the size changes all the time. All the time. I swear, from like not having my period to have my period, like I'll get like a one whole cup size up. Like I'll go from like a C to a D. Like I will. Like your boobs are gonna change. Your boobs are going to change and accept the change. Lo love the love the boobies. Love them. I could go on forever. Love them. Do you guys remember when they used to be I heard booby bracelets? You think you think they're a little bit saggy? I don't think they're a little bit saggy. I think they look good. I always get so down on myself when I when I like if I'm not wearing a bra, I'm like, oh my god, they look so saggy. Like <laughs> what does it matter? A boob is a boob. And every boob is beautiful. <laughs> Let's talk about mean girls. Mean girls. Now let me just correct this. I do not think that there is such thing as mean girls. Same as there's not such thing as like mean guys or mean people. I think that there's not mean girls, there's insecure girls. Because no confident, I'm not even just gonna say girl, no confident person would feel confident and comfortable making fun of someone and making someone else feel like shit. Because we, us confident people, me and you, we know this, we know that you're only as pretty as you treat people. And if you are truly confident, I'm gonna feel like a piece of trash talking down on someone else. Why would I have to talk down on someone else's name? Talking down on your name isn't gonna make mine any better and higher. It's not. You never look good making someone else look bad. So let's just remember that. That girl who's being mean to you, the person who's bullying you, they're not mean. They're not bullying you because there's something wrong with you. They're bullying you and making fun of you because they are so insecure and they see their own insecurities in you. They are like, they're looking in the mirror. You're not even there. Like, if some, say you were making fun of me, pretend my hand is a mirror. They are literally talking to themselves because confident people don't make fun of other people, period. And I wish I knew this in high school because now if someone said something to me when I was in high school, I would be like, why are you being insecure? It was my sister. My sister always texts me whenever I'm filming. <laughs> okay, um, you guys had a lot of questions about like, sex and losing your v-card and doing stuff with guys and how do you approach that i am the wrong person to ask i've done nothing <laughs> and i still have my v-card i'm such the wrong person to ask i can't give you any advice <laughs> give me advice please give me advice <laughs> okay a really common question that i also got was how do i talk about these kind of things with my mom so how do i talk about shaving and periods and dating and body image and crushes and mean girls and body hair like how to first dates how do i talk about that with my mom here's the thing i un like i have a really good relationship with my mom like my mom is my best friend however i've seen like a lot of different relationships and like girls with their mom and stuff like that and i know that not all moms are the same but i also know that if i was a mom i would want my daughter to talk to me about these kind of things like there's no way that your mom is literally like blah, 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 blah. i don't want to hear any of this like there's got to be a part in her that wants to hear it and she probably feels uncomfortable talking about it with you too because it'd be kind of weird if she just approached you and she's like so your period and he crushes i would be like girl mind your business oh how to be emotional i have actually been really struggling with this lately and being actually like open and emotional and talking about my feelings for some reason over the past like four months i have became an absolute rock i don't cry i used to cry like all the time, every day. Like, I used to be very in tune with my emotions and I would cry without feeling like, why am I crying? Like, I would cry and I wouldn't feel guilty because you shouldn't feel guilty when you cry. And I would feel like my feelings are valid, but lately I've really been feeling like a rock. I feel no ways, I don't cry, 
I don't know if it's because like I'm really happy and I used to cry about like boys but now like I have a nice guy so maybe I'm not crying or I used to cry about stress but I've been like lately not really working at all I want to work a lot but <laughs> you know it's a little chill back situation right now the brand deals haven't been as you know um like lately I've been just trying to like think take care of my own mental health and like not be working as much um I really just went off randomly. No one asked, Spencer. Literally no one asked. I'm supposed to be talking about emotions. Um, I think that it's okay to be emotional, but it's also okay to not feel super emotional all the time. For me, my emotions come in like waves. You know, it's not like I'm just always super emotional and always feeling and always crying or always like happy crying or also like super happy, super excited. It's not like that. Like you can't be like hyper emotional all the time. It's not like that. Sometimes it's just, <sighs> however, don't feel like you're bad if you cry or you're weak if you cry or you're like show your emotions when you feel them, show them. But if you're not feeling anything also, you're kind of just not feeling anything. Maybe you need to do something that makes you super excited. Maybe you need to do something that's like testing your limit a little bit because girl, you're getting a little bit comfortable. Okay, let's talk about body hair, bro. I think I started narrowing my legs when I was like 10 because as soon as I saw hair, I was like, ew, <laughs> like a hair, I'm 10, bro. I just reached double digits. Like what the hell you mean I'm hairy already. Um, let's talk about hair, honestly. Shave what you want, keep what you want. I, my arms hurt so much from working out. Um, I don't know if you can see. You can definitely see it. You could braid it probably. It's so long. Um, I have dark, like black arm hair and I don't shave it because I personally don't want to shave my arms, but I know some of my friends do and body hair is really such a personal choice and I think that, I wish I knew that when I was like 10 and nine. I just woke up ashamed of my legs. Like ashamed for what? Body hair is such a personal choice. You want to have a unibrow? Have a unibrow. You want to have armpit hair? Have armpit hair. And anyone who's like, that's so unhygienic. What's unhygienic? What's unhygienic? The natural body hair that literally grow. I'm a mammal, ma'am. Okay, if you guys have any more questions about like girl talk and like, I want to talk to you like I'm your older sister. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll answer them down below or I'll do a part two. I feel like I answered a good amount of questions. So if you guys have more, literally let me know and I will, I will do it. I will personally show up to your house and give you a pep talk if you need one. Anyways, I'm sorry my energy literally sucks today. I'm sick as a dog. I'm literally sick as a dog. Why did I just bark? Am I okay? Love you. L-O-V-E-U.